Hello again, guys. I think I'm getting really closer to understanding and being able to explain Romans 3.25, and uh, hopefully I'll put some of this stuff on my website eventually, but for now, just videos, I guess. But that commentary that I read, I guess it's not on Bible Hub. It doesn't look like it, but it was like VWS. I don't know who it was. I had it on the E-Sword, but anyways. I have it copied here. I have a passage from Romans 3.25 and a verse. First John 22, which I think helps explain too. So let's look at this the commentary, how this guy uh, described Romans 3.25. He said, God set forth Christ as the world's mercy seat. Okay, the world's mercy seat. So when it says, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation of faith in his blood, he's interpreting it to say this is God sending, sending Christ as the world's mercy seat, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation. Propitiation would be the world's mercy seat through faith in his blood. Whom God has set forth to be the world's mercy seat through faith in his blood. Okay, and like I said, other people, you know, they want to interpret this as an individual or something, um, you know, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation to individuals who, who believe, you know, in his blood. But I want to show that the context is speaking of the world uh, in general, not just individuals, because Romans 3.22 says, Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all, and upon all them that believe, there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So this is talking about Jews and Gentiles together, the whole world being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. So the context here is not individuals. The context is all, unto all, upon all them that believe. Okay, I'm not saying that, you know, Christ atoned. You know, even people who don't believe are saved or anything. I'm not saying that, okay? They have to believe. But the context here is all. Jews and Gentiles, the whole world, Christ died for all of them. All have sinned, Christ died for all. And if they believe in him, then they receive the gift. So when it says, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, the propitiation is, you know, as likened to the mercy seat for the world. For the world, for all, for any, Jew or Gentile. Okay, that's the context here. For the showing forth of his righteousness, okay, to declare his righteousness. Because previously he had given no such manifestation of his righteousness. Okay. But he held it back, passing over the remission of sins, the passing over of sins that are past with the temporary institution of sacrifices the sin at the roots of which he finally struck in the sacrifice of Christ okay and also to show that the propitiation is for the world for all not only the context shows that but also this verse is helpful I think first John chapter 2 verse 2 says and he is a propitiation for our sins not only ours but the sins of the whole world and now I got a call so I'm gonna end this